We have new information tonight about what happened at Naval Air Station Lemoore last spring when a Jeep made its way on base and crashed with a parked F-18 jet, killing two people inside. Documents released to Action News reveal little about how the vehicle made its way onto the base, but it does expose a communication breakdown between the California Highway Patrol and the base before the crash. Action News South Valley reporter Brian Johnson is live at NAS Lemoore now with more about what went wrong and why investigators believe there could have been a different outcome. Brian? Well, Warren and Graciel, I have about 50 pages of Navy documents right here released to me through the Freedom of Information Act. A lot of the information has been redacted and is blacked out, but what is left shows a communication issue between both the CHP and the base, both before and after that Jeep went through the entry control point. The driver of the Jeep, 29-year-old Anthony Castillo, and his passenger, 36-year-old Melissa Miller, had been speeding away from a California Highway Patrol officer after being pulled over near Highway 41 and Jackson Avenue in Lemoore at around 11.38 p.m. As they made their way closer to Naval Air Station Lemoore, new documents reveal CHP dispatch tried calling the base three times, but that number was associated with a base building that was demolished 10 years ago. CHP dispatch finally reached an air operations duty officer who was notified of the pursuit at around 1145. Around the same time, the Jeep somehow made its way past the entry control point on the operation side of the base. A letter from Commander of Navy Region Southwest to Commander U.S. Fleet Forces Command concludes that, quote, while there were a number of human factors that contributed to this incident, the most significant was the failure of timely communications between CHP and NAS Lemoore NRSW dispatchers. The incident would likely have ended at the ECP had NSF personnel been aware of the ongoing CHP pursuit prior to the vehicle arriving at the ECP. The Jeep drove on base for about 17 minutes before crashing into a parked F-18 jet, killing Miller. Castillo died later. Navy investigation documents show the CHP helicopter with an infrared camera was the only unit to have eyes on the Jeep while it was inside base gates. It eventually landed on base to take Castillo into custody. It goes on to say, quote, a lack of direct communications between the CHP helicopter and the NASL Naval Security Forces combined with the lack of CHP's familiarity with the layout and nomenclature of NASL operation side prevented an effective coordination of pursuit by the CHP and and NASL NSF patrol units. The documents say the incident exposed vulnerabilities and was a valuable wake-up call, but was not an act of terrorism, but rather an unfortunate event that resulted in two deaths. The documents detail steps NAS Lemoore has taken to review and train after the incident occurred and also calls for all Navy installations and dispatch centers to update contact numbers for local law enforcement and public safety agencies and verify them throughout the year. Now, these documents also reiterate what officials said here back in March about how these two people died when they were driving. They hit the horizontal stabilizer part of the F-18 jet. That stabilizer then went through their windshield. Now, for a full response from the base's commanding officer on these documents, you can head to our website at abc30.com. Live at Naval Air Station Lemoore, Brian Johnson, ABC 30 Action News.